What is going on guys, welcome back to another Man of the Match player review. We are going to be looking at Wilfred Boney and he is going for quite a bit of coins. Is he worth the coins? That's what you're going to find out in this video. If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out battlelet.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you're looking for PSN cards, Microsoft points or cheap games, check the link also in the description guys. So I tried him in a 4-3-2-1 with two fast wingers and I also used a couple of player instructions on him to stay central and stay as a target man now he did not do that that's the first thing I want to let you guys know even with those play instructions he might get into the penalty area when you're about when you're running on the wing and about to cross it it will take him a while so you might have to wait out every single time this is there is there was no time where I was just about to cross it and he was there you had to wait out on the wings and that's exactly why I did even when he gets into a penalty area guys if you're gonna buy him as a target man I still wouldn't recommend him because he might miss a lot of chances. So even though I crossed it to him, uh, I would say 50% of the time he would actually head it into the back of the net. The other 50 is off target or he actually misses the ball completely. So as a target man, don't expect him to be anywhere near as good as Inform Closer when it comes down to heading. Now finishing, he is actually pretty good in the penalty area to finish with. And one of the best things about him is his shooting is very, very underrated in his in-game stats. He has very high shot power, but his long shots I felt were even better than what his in-game game stats were showing I didn't manage to score one but his shots dip like no tomorrow so make sure you get him if you're looking for that sort of uh, striker now I want to let you guys know also that his four star weak foot is pretty helpful in the penalty area you will see a couple of them uh, well a couple of times where I tried to finish with his left foot also his pace wasn't a problem at all I actually found him faster than what his in-game stats were showing it shows that he has 78 sprint speed I felt he was faster than that and there is no problem with him being slow and if you still think he is slow with that 78 sprint speed I have to say he is pretty damn strong but it is quite inconsistent sometimes you'll be running forward with him and he's very strong and defenders are finding it hard to you know shove him off the ball and and sometimes Giovinco would get him off the board, which is quite ridiculous. I don't know what the fuck that is about, but it has happened a couple of times when I've when I've been using him. Positioning is a con. He is so bad when it comes down to positioning, and he didn't make many runs, even with the stay central and target man instructions. I don't know how fucked he is gonna be on last gen because they don't have player instructions. But let me give you an example of how bad his agility and dribbling is. Say you're running in a straight line because that's the best thing you could do with Wilfred Boney. Uh, as soon as you turn with him, because his dribbling and agility are so shit, it is game over. It fucking takes him ages to get back on track and start running again. Seriously, it is that bad. So as soon as you turn with him, it will, well, when you change direction, defenders will catch up and get the ball off him very, very easily. And turning with him in the penalty area, you waste so much fucking time, it's just stupid. So if you can finish in a straight line, then you will like him. But overall, three star skills as well. Uh, it really depends what sort of striker you're looking for. But overall, he's he's got a good shot on him. Decent heading, I'm not going to say it's very inconsistent when it comes down to heading. If you're buying them just for heading, I wouldn't really recommend him. But he has decent heading, full star weak foot, good shooting, decent pace, and very good strength. Finishing is good, but when it comes down to cons, positioning, dribbling, agility, and three star skills put him way down the list. And I, I, like for me, I didn't like him that much. So I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10.